thing is with school, school teaches you to be an employee. It doesn't teach you to be the owner of a company. It teaches you to be an employee. Like, why do you think you're never taught how to do taxes or something like that? Because if you're an employee, you don't have to deal with anything. For me, I feel like school doesn't prepare you for real life. KSI, AKA? Olajide Olajinkol Williams, Jide Jr. Olatunji. Get it right, suck your mum. <laughs> Born June 19th, 1993, grew up in Watford, Hertfordshire. He attended Redford School and later went back to the school to talk to some of the school kids. What was the most naughtiest thing you had that you did in Redford? The naughtiest thing? I was a good boy. I think there was one, there was one thing. <laughs> uh, I had um, one of my first kisses in Redford. <laughs> yeah. He later attended Berkhamsted School where he met Miniminta, AKA Simon, who's also part of the Sidemen. Simon is still angry that you tried to injure him during <laughs> school <laughs> for football. <laughs> Today, we'll be looking at some clips where KSI talks about his school experience, education, and how it influenced his journey into where he is today. What did KSI get in his GCSEs? Five A's, three B's, and a C. I'm actually pretty proud of that. Way better than my A levels. <laughs> I I did combined science. I didn't do triple science. I don't, I don't know what it is these days, but people would get, normally people would get biology, chemistry and physics. Whereas I just had them combined <laughs> as one result. And I got a B, look at that. The Harbour process. This is what we do to get the product ammonia. Oh, Cause no. I'm telling you about the temperature and what it needs to be, so just wait and see. <laughs> oh. First we need a bit of hydrogen. Yeah. Oh. And, then, <laughs> Come and on. then we get a bit of nitrogen. Oh. <laughs> now we gotta just purify this stuff and... Stunzy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I failed my A-levels, like, badly. Put him in the private school, he should be able to make go to uni and, you know, like, have a good job and we've done our, you know, We've done everything right. And then for me to just start playing games and shit, like you said, bro, it's fucked. I remember I like, I came through, I'm in Portugal. Um, I was sitting down in a toilet. Like I was there for like two, three hours looking at my um, AS results. I, I was halfway through and I saw my results and it was bad, bro. It was really bad, but that's because I was focusing on YouTube. Yeah. So then I was like, how the fuck am I going to tell my parents? They've worked so hard for me to get to this level and then for me to just fail. It's just like, oh shit. <laughs> so then I told them and bro, my mom screamed, bro. Uh. Screamed, bro. Yeah, my mom just stood up, um, smiled, mm. went to the kitchen and you just said, <laughs> she's broke so many plates. No. Yeah, so I was like, whoa. Oh, shit. she was crying, bro. My dad had his hands in his head. Uh, like, he just, he couldn't believe it. He was like, fuck, now what? Now what the fuck do we do? Even though KSI didn't do so well in his education, he still managed to be very successful, making it into the Forbes 30 Under 30 Europe 2021 entertainment list and being worth over 20 million pounds. Talk about that fucking family holiday recently. Ah. Uh, to Dubai. But because KSI own his own PJ. No, no, no. Only, uh, no, I but can't he lie. charters them. I'm, I'm, that Yeah, you've trip. done that. It made so, you realise you're no, broke. No, I need no. more bread. It made you realise that you're broke. <laughs> yeah, because I wanna. I need JJ, more bread. JJ's money's different, bro. I need yeah. more bread. Have you not seen his box at Arsenal? That man are different, bro. You yeah. can't chat him. This next clip, KSI is asked, is university worth it? Oh, yeah, no, no, 100%. It depends. If you're doing music, you don't need to go to uni for that. If you're doing anything in the entertainment business, you don't need to go to uni. The only reason you go to uni is for contacts. Yeah. Like, you can learn everything before you go to uni. Yeah. But like, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, then yeah, you have to go to uni. You have to. Yeah. In the next clip, KSI surprises a university student by paying his £18,000 tuition fee loan after losing a game of rock, paper, scissors. What first started out as a joke turned into a life-changing moment for Jordan McMillan. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. That's oh! Oh! You, so you're wagering 18k against five. No, no, he said nine, nine. One year, one year. One year. So Jay has put up 9k, my boy put up five. This is for the content. One, two, three, two. Wait, is it better than three? Oh, this is the one. Best of three, best of three. Okay.
Turn that move! <laughs> Do you think KSI would have been as successful if you went to university? Let us know what you think in the comments. If you're enjoying the series, don't forget to subscribe and look out for the next video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my uni beast graduation day! <laughs>